take my horse to the old town road and cry <laughs> till I can't no more. Hi guys! I'm Sophie and this is Donaldo! We are from DLD Studio. We are an art direction, logo and branding, graphic design studio based in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So, we're here today because we're in love with K-pop and you're probably here because of that too. Wanted to give a very special thank you guys for whoever is consistently watching our videos. I never thought that we would be this consistent with a video. But one day, uh, we just thought that it would be really cool to keep creating content for ourselves. Mm. And you know what? Like, it's pretty crazy that we've been ongoing about this for like a good like eight to nine months. Yeah. So whoever's been watching this far, thank you so much. We just wanted to do something really special for Halloween and combine our hobbies of honestly doing our own hair, makeup in a unique way. Basically, we're like, you know, we really love the overall artistic direction of the new Twice music video. Mm -hmm. I love the song. I love the message. I love the outfits. I, I love the look. Like the girls all look so gorgeous. And we were like, you know, I mean, we'll never be twice, but <laughs> we're we can thrice. be rice or <laughs> thrice. thrice. So we wanted to do a quick like photo shoot and basically we're challenging ourselves. 45 minutes, we're gonna- we're just under an hour. Okay, fine, under an hour. We'll we're gonna- put together a mood board. Mm -hmm. We're going to shoot our outfit. We're gonna shoot what's gonna go on our face the behind the scenes, and then you're going to also get a very special tutorial step-by-step -step, from Donaldo here of how she designs graphic design edits behind Yeah, the so I'm gonna do like a mock feel special cover for each of us. Yes, so let's begin. Woo! Okay, so what do we have here? This is a quick behind the scenes of some of our outfits that we've laid out. We have inserted an inspo picture, but also the album cover of Twice's Feel Special cover. Mm -hmm. And essentially what we picked up from that is a lot of beautiful cream schools, a little bit of shimmer, mm -hmm. um, this glam glitz kind of vibe. Like disco-y almost, right? Right, but soft. Yes. And so we kind of laid out our interpretation of the color palette mm -hmm. from what we think. Um, you also see pops of little purples and like white pinks. For our direction, we're going to limit that to probably just a little bit of makeup and eyeshadow. But for both of our outfits, we want to have this slight shimmer gold-esque. Yes. All right, y'all. So now we are in the bathroom about to change into our little respective outfits. What is that? Stickers. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna quickly change and then we'll film in like a minute. We have our looks ready. Very cute. We're kind of matching actually. I like hey. it. Yeah, very metallic and glittery. As for the makeup, we had a meeting today, so we already have a little bit of makeup on, like both of us. I, but I just wanted to show, like, I think the middle color is the tone that we're really going for. Very champagne y, very gold, very glittery. For me, I'm going to use a little bit of bottom one. Yeah, Sophie always looks good with like the very bricky colors. Like, I think for me, I'm a little bit more in this range. Toast. Toast. All right, so. Skill! Concern. Boom! So the whole point of the quick challenge is we're just going to grab enough of things that come out to us, like to our attention in yeah. the inspo and the mood board. Yeah. It was most of like the, the glittery and the shine, shine. gold tones, um, very light, airy. I also noticed glam. that in K-pop makeup, they do a lot of um, like very uh, natural looking shimmery glitter, but like a little underneath the eyes too. I think in Ayan's inspo mm. photo, she used this kind of like peachy mm. brownish kind of color on her eyes. Yeah. And I'm kind of pale like her, so thus why I'm- And like the monolid kind of look. Yeah. There's something to learn here, ladies and gentlemen. A brick toasty color works very well. Yes. Come on, we don't have time, sis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, do me. So this is also the color that we're using. Yeah. The Scossier's cloud paint <laughs> in the theme. But essentially, like you guys saw in the earlier um, shoot mm. or recording that we were doing, mm. the color palette is very like soft, mm. light, airy, peachy, peachy yes. little glittery. So I'm going to peach myself. And yeah. Peacher. Then, peach myself. <laughs> yeah, you peach yourself, you peach. And then how you use the cloud paint is to dab and build on. Ooh. It's this cream kind of 
blush. You don't want to overdo it. You just want to put like one blush blot all over. Yeah. Because the feel is more of like this like little dewy. dewy. You know how in American makeup you do a lot of stuff on the side. I feel like K-pop, the blush is more centered. I think it's to like make the apples of your cheeks look more like rounder and plump. Oh. Whereas I feel like American, they like, like the sharper, like, yeah, like chiseled, and chiseled. The edgy. Fun fact, I, I did not know what chisel meant until well, last she year. She thought it meant bearded. <laughs> she said I have a chiseled jaw and I got so offended. I was like, excuse me? I'm not bearded. I'm like, not bearded and she was like, that's not what you're talking means. about. This is from ColourPop. My friend gave it to me. It just works well. I don't even know what color it is. So this is Honestly, I don't, I'm not really a lip gal. I just literally wear the same thing all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but I just thought this one worked pretty decently May for something that's muted or a little bit light. We would like to do the glitter, but not for this look. All right, guys, this was what? How many minutes has it been? I think it's been like, oh, five minutes, six all minutes. All right, so we're good, we're on time. Let's get started with the... Da -da -da -da. Hey look, at our new studio, it's right outside, area. it's our filming area. For the screen. Oh, it's this sexy, sexy brain loading. We have this set up at all times now because we're always doing different little photo shoots and whatnot. We went to Fashion District and bought this like very shimmery, gorgeous lavender fabric. And we feel like this is kind of the perfect backdrop for our shoot today. She is setting up the lights right now. Right now what we're not trying to do is a full blown out actual photo right. that we do. We are just within a under one hour time constraint trying to concept, mood board. Shoot, shoot. edit, and design. Yeah. Wow, awesome. much productivity. We're, we are really big on efficiency. We're really into the song Old Town Road. I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road and go <laughs> till I can't no. Okay. Girl, we have like 30 minutes left. Right, right, right. Let me get on this, yo. All right, guys. Yes. You wanna try doing a test shot? Yeah. So we're, yeah, we're gonna set up the camera and then because we're also gonna have to take turns taking photos for each other. Yes. Because we are the photographer, the art director, the intern, <laughs> the designer, the model. This outfit the is killing me. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of the quick shooting area that we have set up. I have put um, the green little little finger oh, yeah. um, for Dawn to sit on because what we're going to do is pretty much just take a photo of the bus. So we want, we like to, for this one, we actually have soft boxes. These are called soft boxes. Um, they're a little bit weak on light because mm -hmm. these are our temporary like pack and go ones yeah. um, that we have on hand. But essentially I'm putting it this close to her face because I want that natural light and the shimmer of her mm -hmm. face to bounce back since the glitter aspect the soft and dewiness is what's the most important about right, this picture. Right. So I'm trying to shoot Dawn at this kind of angle right now. And can you turn to your side of how you would pose? Dawn is beautiful, but in order to highlight this outfit, what I would do is I would like Donald to put her hair in a ponytail because the, uh, her hair and her outfit are very almost similar mm. a little bit. You don't want it to like blur and make it look messy and like mm. you want it to look very airy and light. All right. Ooh. Okay, now shooting. All right, guys, so that was literally the fastest photo shoot in the history of mankind. Yes. Um, we will now migrate over to our desks and get started on the editing and yes. we'll screen record and everything too so you guys can kind of take a look at like how we edit photos and whatnot and then we might do some a little bit of the voiceovers as we're going over it just yes. to let you guys know like what's going on yes uh, for those who are beginner level peeps we're gonna try to go step by step as much as possible but it might be more helpful to also youtube like very specific tools this is just for overall designers like seeing the behind the scenes process but i mean if you guys are more interested in like tutorials and whatnot, please let us know in comments. Yes. Um, we just wanted to show overall like how it works. So yeah, if you guys like it, then we'll create more. But for now, that's what our plan is. All, All right, right, let's go. 
So this is the mood board that we created for um, this whole concept that we wanted to try out. Definitely incorporating a lot of different inspo, um, you know, like the whole vibe that they got going on as the artwork for their track list as well as the group album cover. Um, for Sophie and I, we will be doing more um, of the edits this way. Um, since it'll be more like individual teasers or individual shots. So you can see that they definitely use a lot of flash photography to make everything very soft and blingy. Mm -hmm. So we did a similar vibe as obviously ours is a lot more casual. But regardless, I think what's important is identifying the different elements that make the artwork what it is. Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to be including this like glitter typography situation going on and also um, incorporating the little like blingy brushes to make sure that we really capture that vibe. Yes. Alrighty then, let's get started. So we have our two photos that we just took ready to go. So what I'm gonna do right now is open up 1200 by 1500 which is about a 4 to 5 ratio perfect for Instagram if you know what I mean I think what I'm gonna start off with is to work on the borders so how do you make the border so what I'm doing right now is just for the border to be you know even the thickness thickness <laughs> <laughs> wow she's gonna pretty much create like a frame around mm -hmm. the photo and it's, what she's doing is taking these rectangular shapes mm -hmm. and placing it around all four sides that's right and then i'm gonna merge the layers um so that it becomes like a legit one legit frame i'm gonna put a little color overlay to it so let's play around a little bit with the different colors oh i think the purple I is like personally purple. my favorite so we'll go with like something like this yeah. a little bit give it a little contrast and then as for sophie's photo i'm also going to quickly i opened up this uh tab called levels i'm going to be editing to make it a little brighter oh. give it a little Mood, if you know what I mean. Um, if you guys remember the mood board of the photos of mm -hmm. Twice's album cover, their face looked very dewy, and I wouldn't say like the photo quality was washed out, but mm -hmm. it was definitely like brightened. Yes. So it doesn't have that harsh contrast from dark to light. Exactly. So I'm gonna also open up exposure. Expose. Expose. You got exposed. Oh. Maybe that's a little too much. Okay. Just like a tad bit to give it that like, you know what I'm exposed. talking about? The exposed like K-pop look to it. So if you can see, the typography is in a serif font. Um, has almost like a, like a 70s like glam kind of vibe to mm -hmm. it. It's like a throwback. It's a little bit of a throwback font. It also feels very elegant mm -hmm. and fashion-y. Mm -hmm. So we will be looking for a font that looks pretty similar to it. Font. Maybe Dido would work. Let's try that. So this is obviously one of the basic fonts that comes with it's pewter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's close enough. Um, let's make it like 200. Bump it up a little bit. Ugh. Special. Yeah, so now you kind of see the framework of like how you would do the overall layout. At the bottom, um, I believe they had their date like so we're just gonna put the Halloween date yeah. <laughs> cause that's just the date that we're working with. <laughs> um, and then bump it down to like 50. What should we put instead of like twice? And it rice. says the sixth album. Maybe for ours, we can put rice. Rice. <laughs> <laughs> So they put the sixth album. Oh, I'm gonna put the album that never happened. I was just thinking. <laughs> oh yeah, so by the way guys, now we're gonna do the fun part, which is to turn the feel special into that glittery texture. Yes. So, rose gold texture that I've, honestly, I purchased this texture like many years ago on the internet. And it's still to this date, one of my favorite textures because it just comes in so handy with everything. Okay, so for a little bit quick, as Donald is doing this, yes. a little quick background on what to do with these textures mm -hmm. and whatnot. So what I've seen Don do is like go on places like Creative Market or like free downloads mm -hmm. and create um, your own bucket of all these different textures that right. you can use over and over. over and over for situations like this. Yeah. And if you come across something that you're not using for a current project but you're just really drawn to it, like save it somewhere because you never know where it'll come up again. The two things that Dawn had to download or find uh, additional mm -hmm. that you can't have on like a basic Photoshop is 
this glittery texture. Yeah. Um, she had to download it elsewhere, so that's where you would find it. Mm -hmm. And the second is, if you see on uh, the Twice photos, there's mm -hmm. gonna be little, these bling bling moments mm -hmm. um, that Dawn is going to download separate glitter brushes for. Mm -hmm. And honestly, uh, there's ones that come with free downloads, so literally yep. Google free Google brush downloads yes. for Photoshop and uh, choose the ones that you're most drawn to. And just to show you guys um, what I've been working on since uh, while Sophie was speaking, I was just um, outlining the overall text. And then what I did was I copied and pasted it from after highlighting, you know, outlining the typography, I went ahead and selected the rose gold layer and then copied and pasted it. So now it has that same texture, but over font that we quickly created together <laughs> earlier. <laughs> um, I feel like this is like pretty close. What do you think? Hey, uh, I think the yeah. gold yellow looks good. Compliments. It. I think so too. Go right into the really fun part, which is adding the blingy brush textures. I'm going to start basically, okay, I'm gonna change the opacity to like 50. And I'm going to start applying it a little bit of that like glitter. Ooh. You know where you see like the little like lights light happening? Sources, yeah, yeah, light sources happening. And what you can do is also like change up the opacity, change up the size a little bit. I think it captures the vibe yeah. of like what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is pretty much it. Our little <laughs> uh, Halloween edition tutorial. Essentially what we mean by like the feel of it mm. is like what we're trying to do is in the short amount of time communicate, transfer that kind of look. Mm. And what we grabbed is that bit of the shine, the smooth, subtle, photo right um, like flash photography but trying to make the face look more dewy and like natural mm -hmm. um, mixed with gold shimmers yeah we literally did this in less than an hour um you know from concepting taking the photo and editing and now doing this um i think what we'll do is fast forward for uh, my my design and then at the end we can do like a side by side yes. comparison after this is literally like 15 minutes after ish the photo shoot yeah it was it, a pretty quick recording i yeah. have to say zoom um, through it yes so you guys i'm sure you already saw the tutorial portion as we're going to be editing that in literally took me i want to say like five minutes per person mm -hmm. um and we you know looking at the inspo that we had with like the different colored like that hats. album covers and whatnot we wanted to, so we, I think we tried one that's a little more like this and uh -huh. another one like this, but in purple. This is kind of what we've created. I think for something that was done so quickly, literally like we did, did all the photo shooting and editing in literally one hour. Wow, the sun really set in an hour, didn't it? Seriously. Yeah, I think we started recording around five and then now it's like six. All right. All right, so thanks for watching guys. Um, <laughs> was this fun? <laughs> I hope it was. <laughs> Put it down on the comments. Um, this is just how a typical behind the scenes process looks for us. Yes. Not as rushed, but <laughs> kind of how we think. So and concept yeah. and shoot and edit. You know, if you guys try doing this, I really hope you guys do. And if you guys want to share it with us, please like DM it to us uh, at Donley Design or DLD Studio. Yes. Um, you can even comment it on our videos. And also, we would love to get some suggestions on if you have any other album covers in the future or any past ones too that you'd love us to have like cover and whatnot because I think this is actually really fun and I didn't even realize how much fun we were gonna have with this. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our video this week. We're so happy to have you here. And if you liked it, if you thought something about it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, and ring that bell button. Yay!
Yes, and if you want to interact more directly with us, please find our private community link below. And if you also want to learn more about our design business and how we got our foot in the door, also find our free training link below. Yes, and if you do all the above or click like, Snowy will get a treat. So make sure to do that because Snowy I is waiting for you. And we can't wait to see you next week. Bye! Bye!